Can you handle the truth? You know, a little while ago I was talking about UFOs and saying that I really have a hard time believe, believing in them because today everyone out there has a cell phone, a video camera, still camera, so many devices. I mean, recently we are at the Grand Canyon and we just see this guy with his uh, iPad holding it up, taking videos of uh, the Grand Canyon. I mean, there's so many different ways to take videos that by now there must be some definitive proof of aliens, UFOs, if they exist. There has to be. But let's turn the clock back. July 5, 1947. And this is the case that has many people puzzled or even wondering if there is something to UFOs. Perhaps America did get its hands onto a flying saucer, a flying disc with two dead and one live alien, an injured alien. That is a story that came out of Roswell. Now, if it wasn't for this story, probably nobody out there would have heard of Roswell. But apparently a farmer in July 5th, 1947, found this crashed uh, thing. And I, I say thing, you know, you can call it UFO. I don't think it was flying when it was crashed. It was on the ground. But he found this thing and there were apparently some bodies around. The military showed up. They came in with... Uh, big trucks removed the thing along with possible bodies all evidence of it and at first they reported saying that it was a flying saucer a flying disc something of extraterrestrial nature but very quickly they changed their story a couple of days later they had already said that it was a weather balloon now you know like let's be realistic about this if you can't tell the difference between a flying disc, a UFO, and a weather balloon at first sight, looking at it on the ground, then you are not in the right job. You know, then it, there's no such thing as army intelligence, you know, it's lack of intelligence. Anyway, like I said, I'm not sure where I stand on this. And I was asking people in there when I was walking around the Roswell UFO Museum, which is the biggest, most fascinating place that you can go to, to find out about aliens and UFOs, because they have all the documents from back in 1940s documenting all the different things that took place. And I was asking people if they believe, and you know, the answer I got most often was that, I don't know, I don't know. And uh, that, that is exactly how I'm starting to feel like. I don't know, you know, I'd like to think that there would be some evidence of it by now, of UFOs, aliens, because like I said, with all the technology out there, we would have had the ability to capture or videotape one. But at the same time, I'm not, I'm not in the mindset to believe that in this whole galaxy and universe all out there going on forever and ever, that we're the only beings. This is it, man. Broadcasting Company and affiliated stations present headline edition with Taylor Grant. Today's edition presents a roundup of the latest developments in the finding of a flying disc. Late this afternoon, a bulletin from New Mexico suggested that the widely publicized mystery of the flying saucers may soon be solved. Army Air Force officers reported that one of the strange discs had been found and inspected sometime last week. Our correspondents in Los Angeles and Chicago have been in contact with Army officials endeavoring to obtain all possible late information. Joe Wilson reports to us now from Chicago. The Army may be getting to the bottom of all this talk about the so-called flying saucers. As a matter of fact, the 509th Atomic Bomb Group headquarters at Roswell, New Mexico, reports that it has received one of the discs which landed on a ranch outside Roswell. The disc landed at a ranch at Corona, New Mexico, and the rancher turned it over to the Air Force. Rancher W.W. W. Brazil was the man who discovered the saucer. Colonel William Blanchard of the Rockwell Air Base refuses to give details of what the flying disc looks like. In Fort Worth, Texas, Brigadier General Roger Ramey says that it is being shipped by air to the AAF Research Center at Wright Field, Ohio. A few moments ago, I talked to officials at Wright Field, and they declared that they expect the so-called flying chopper to be delivered there, but that it hasn't arrived as yet. I have always believed that there was life out in space. I don't know if I totally believed in UFOs or not. Like I said, I think that there should be more evidence of them now. But I'd never believed for one minute that in this whole galaxy and universe we're the only uh, beings out there. And uh, long before Stephen Hawking was saying that uh, 
if there is life out there maybe it wouldn't be a good idea for us to contact them because it might do us harm I was saying the same thing I mean look back on my videos for quite a while when I talked about UFOs and I always thought that uh, there's evidence on earth that when a more intelligent being comes along and there's less uh, developed beings around it's not a happy union it doesn't matter which way it goes. I mean, take a look at all the explorers. Whenever went, they went into areas where there were uh, primitive people, I mean, the primitive people were harmed. Even if they were given technology or uh, ability to move ahead and to get into a more progressive position, they were still harmed. But uh, my belief is that if there are aliens out there, it's not just that they're going to harm us with giving us technology but they could actually want to take over our planet. I mean, for whatever reason that they would use it for. And uh, I don't believe that it's going to be E.T. and it's going to be a friendly reunion if aliens ever do arrive to our planet. But that's only my opinion. I think I'm, a lot of people have commented even on those videos that, you know, if you're that intelligent, you're going to be peaceful. Well, look at us. Look at, look at humanity. We're not in that position, and I mean, we can't even trust our neighbors, our governments, our business, or whatever. How the heck could we trust aliens? I mean, geez, you know, get with the program, people. So do you, UFOs exist? I don't know. I came away with some really interesting questions and more information. Of course, I know that even Jimmy Carter, ex-president, had said that he's seen a UFO. But I was surprised to find that there were a lot of UFO sightings from Calgary, Alberta region in Canada. And they have been sighted all over the world. So all I can say is that my curiosity has been piqued. I want to find out more, learn more. And uh, <sighs> the truth is out there, but I don't know what it is yet.